November, as we know, uh, is the Lung Cancer Awareness Month. So I thought I would share uh, some of my thoughts about how uh, lung cancer today is effectively managed. Lung cancer is basically a broad term which encompasses two major types of uh, lung cancer. One is called as non-small cell lung cancer, by far the commonest, and small cell lung cancer. Small cell lung cancer used to be a lot more commoner, uh, especially in smokers. But today, because of various factors such as pollution, exposure to harmful chemicals, and even cigarette smoking, non-small cell lung cancer is the commonest form of lung cancer. Now, both non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer are treated with similar principles. We basically divide both types of lung cancers into three major stages based on PET CT scanning and some other investigations that may be required. One is early lung cancer, two is locally advanced lung cancer and three is stage four or metastatic lung cancer. Stage four is obvious and early stage is obvious but locally advanced is actually a heterogeneous groups wherein the lung cancer has spread nearby but there is no spread to other organs. So in general when there is any early lung cancer we try to treat these patients with most likely surgery and if surgery is not feasible we give radiation with chemotherapy or targeted therapy. Locally advanced lung cancer is probably the most difficult to manage because again like I said it's a very heterogeneous group and there are multiple factors involved such as patients uh, general condition, uh, multiple diseases like diabetes, hypertension, heart disease that the patient may have and some other factors such as, uh, such as uh, how uh, rapid the uh, uh, lung cancer is spreading and what are the genetic signatures in the lung cancer. So, in general, locally advanced lung cancer patients are treated with chemotherapy and radiation which are given concurrently. That means the treatment happens at the same time. And once the, the large mass of the lung cancer comes down to a significant level, then we use immunotherapy by which the lung cancer is controlled. Immunotherapy is a very specialized strategy where you are using the body's immune system to attack the cancer thereby reducing your side effects to uh, basically minimal levels but also having a very good control of the cancer. What happens in metastatic lung cancer? Now this is a very complicated topic but let me simplify it for you. When you have a patient with metastatic lung cancer we basically determine what are the genetic signatures of the lung cancer. Can this uh, stage 4 lung cancer be treated with targeted therapies which are available? They are basically tablets which can be treated if these genetic signatures are available. Or can immunotherapy be used for this lung cancer pa patient? So we do certain investigations called as molecular studies and also immunoeligibility studies by which we get to know whether the patient can be treated with either targeted therapy or immunotherapy. We do use uh, chemotherapy uh, with the targeted therapy or the immunotherapy to get what is called as immediate response. The advantage with chemotherapy is that uh, you can get rapid responses whereas with targeted therapy and uh, immunotherapy responses may take a little time. So by adding both of them you basically can get very good uh, uh, results. So patient is happy with the immediate results and the durable benefits are also provided to the patients. Now there are other things that I would also like to emphasize while lung cancer uh, is treated is make sure you treat the patient and not just the disease. The patient may be having certain symptoms such as body pains, cough, uh, breathing difficulty. I believe in a comprehensive management of lung cancer because that provides the best quality of life. Just concentrating on improving the uh, number of years in a cancer patient is not important today only. Today quality of life also has to be provided. So physiotherapy, uh, rehabilitation, uh, uh, nutritional therapy, sometimes even uh, yoga is recommended uh, by me to my patients and also certain other ways of improving the quality of life uh, is very important when we are managing uh, all cancers including lung cancer.